Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? Oh, I thought you'd never ask. It's uh, Wednesday. It's the first day of July. How in the world did that happen? National Postal Worker Day today. Also, National U.S. Stamp Postage Stamp Day. So, a couple of postage things going on. Also, get uh, creative for this one. Creative Ice Cream Flavors Day. What's the most creative ice cream flavor you've ever had? I usually don't stray too far from bubble gum. Yeah. So. You, you kind of stay close. I yeah. like uh, the peppermint with the little uh, chocolate chips. What's that called? Mint chip. <laughs> Mint chocolate chip. <laughs> yeah, something like that. It's also National Ginger Snap Day today. So, Do you like ginger snaps? Yeah, they're all right. I, I don't really right. crave them, but I mean, either. okay. But now they sound like something I want because it's <laughs> a big day today. Also, I've got a guest joining me on the program. I'm going to visit with Josh Holloway from a little TV program called Yellowstone. He's in that with, I don't know if you've ever heard of this guy before, Kevin Costner. I love yeah, Kevin Costner. going to be chatting with Josh coming up shortly right here on the John and Heidi Show. Many people have dabbled in the stock market for their very first time ever this year. If you're new to the market, but you don't want to learn things the hard way and the expensive way, I encourage you to subscribe to this free newsletter. You can get the inside track with Wall Street's brightest minds delivered directly to your inbox every day at marketbeatminute.com. Subscribe for free. If you change your mind, just unsubscribe. Sign up for free right now at marketbeatminute.com. That's marketbeatminute.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. A survey by Ohio State University found that people who are better at math are more likely to quit smoking. So do you think that's because they add up how much they're spending on cigarettes? or Probably, I, I guess. I think that's really an interesting thing. People who are better at math are more likely to quit smoking. Hmm. So That makes sense to me. It's an expensive yeah, habit. It is. So I could see where that makes sense. I've got a link to the story if you want to read all about it. It's in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Some credit cards have really high rates or big annual fees. Usually, people sign up for these when it's all they qualify for. If that sounds like you, it may be time to get a better credit card. Over time, your situation changes, and you may qualify for a better credit card. Your current card hopes you don't think about it, but our site shows you many options to see if there's a better credit card for you. Check it out for free at bettercreditcards.com. That's bettercreditcards.com. This is your Brain on Drugs, brought to you by Time4Rehab.com. An Omaha, Nebraska man was arrested on suspicion of assault when he deployed pepper spray in an old market bar. We've been to the old market in Omaha before. We have. It's kind of a cool little part of town there. Yeah, it so is. So I don't know which place this is. It's called T. Henry's Pub. Have we ever been to that? We haven't. No. I don't think we've ever been to that. It's probably a cool place. We don't I'm go sure to the cool is. places. Although when we went the, I don't remember, oh, Omaha Prime we went to. Yeah. And it's, Yum. it was good. But that, the, our waiter said, oh, this is where Bill Gates and, uh, and Warren Buffett go. I was yeah. like, oh, well, we, we probably are. probably didn't belong we, there. But. We probably should have checked the prices before we came in. Uh, anyway, this guy, 37 year old man, denied entry into this T. Henry's pub. And uh, I don't know if it's... I think it was because he was drunk. I'm not sure what was going on. Anyway, they got in a little uh, argument at the door, and he tried to pepper spray everybody inside. So he sprayed pepper spray into the... Alrighty. And then took off. So got himself arrested for that. Bad idea. I've got a link to that story if you want to read all the details. It's in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. John and Heidi. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by Channel Surfer TV. Dot com. Apple TV is adapting Isaac Asimov's foundation series of sci-fi novels in the form of a 10-episode foundation. Apple says the series chronicles the epic saga of the foundation, a band of exiles who discover that the only way to save the galactic empire from destruction is to defy it. It lands on Apple TV in 2021, but the new trailer is already out for this. So if you're into that kind of thing, uh, I've got a link to it. You can see that trailer in the show notes for today. The new SpongeBob movie is going to bypass theaters and go straight to on demand. We're seeing more and more of that, by the way. And I know that's making... I didn't even know they were doing a new SpongeBob movie. Yeah, and I know it's making theater chains very angry that they're actually skipping them. I'm kind of surprised by that. The last one was not very Well, it wasn't good. great, but, you know, it had a had a bunch of funny parts in it. It was just 
all in all, it was, it was not a great movie. But what were you expecting? It's you know, it's, it's SpongeBob. Yeah. And one sad story here. This is I really disappointed. West Side Story actor Ansel Elgort denied a sexual assault. Uh, somebody on Instagram accused him of taking her uh, virginity back when she was seventeen. So I just a lot of these took her virginity back. Took her virginity back when she was seventeen. He took her virginity when she was 17. Yeah. Not back, took it back. <laughs> back when she was 17. <laughs> I think we're done here. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show. We're here to make it better. If you find that drug or alcohol problems are hitting you too close to home, you can get help. Maybe it's time for rehab. Your insurance may even cover everything. Learn more at timeforrehab.com. Get help for a drug or alcohol problem within 24 hours. We're here to make it better. Get more information at timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Now your scoop of the day. It comes your way courtesy of insurancechicken.com. Delta is the first airline to resume flights between the United States and China. The initial flights are only going to operate twice a week. And listen to this. They're going to be flying from only two places. Seattle and Detroit. So <laughs> online, there are a lot of fun comments. If you want to go on and read them, you sure can. But uh, we're going to just move on. A survey revealed that 43% of doctors play games on their phones at work. So that's kind of concerning. I do know that we have several doctors who are listening to our program right now. I'm sure they're not doing it like during surgery. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. It's like between... They're on break. Who cares? Exactly. It's like I'm done with this and I don't have that, so I'm going to play a little... <laughs> Whatever. I don't know if it's Candy Crush they Not play like or whatever. Um, scalpel right after I finish this level. Yeah, I get it. I don't think that's Doctor, what's happening. Beep. Hang on a second. I'm almost good. Give me two more minutes. No, I don't think that's what's going on. But I do know we have uh, some doctors who listen to the program uh, in the when they're doing surgery. I don't know what you call that now. Is it? Doctors. Well, I know they're called doctors, but like the room that they do it in. The surgery ward? I don't know what it is. But anyway, I, I've had people the tell me that they- room? Yeah, it could be. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. <laughs> what is the matter with you? Know. They don't call it an emergency room anymore. Remember when I went They're there for my stitches? Emergency room doing I understand surgery. that. But I swear I'm saying, do they call it an operating room? Yes. Or is it now, because now they call it the emergency department. So is it now an operating department, do you think? Or is it still an operating room? <laughs> that's what I'm getting at. I'm going to just move on. So a survey reveals 43% of doctors play games on their phones at work. And if you're listening right now, hi, docs. How you doing? Do a good job. Um, a Michigan man recently won a $4 million lottery scratch-off ticket. And guess what? The 50-year-old man, Mark Clark, did the same exact thing three years ago. So he won $4 million three years ago. Then he just won another $4 million this last week. Wow. That's pretty darn cool. I think it's really cool. The new Apple Watch will remind you to wash your hands. With a mask wearing emoji. Yeah. So if you haven't washed your hands in a while, this little mask wa- mask emoji comes on and you like push a button or something. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. it would know if you washed your hands or not. Eh, you probably tell it or it senses it. Or I, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, the coronavirus has now infected 10 million people worldwide. That's a huge number. And luckily, the more people we're seeing that are getting infected, the the like the severity is getting lower yeah, and lower. Which, so that's time. good news. So I try. I always try to find the the positive side of things. And uh, so I got a pop quiz for you, Heidi. How many coronavirus symptoms are there? We haven't talked about this in a long time, by the way. So I got the, a couple little stories here, but I wanted to share this. You want a number? The CDC added three new symptoms to their ongoing ongoing list. Uh, so congestion or runny nose, nausea, diarrhea were added, joining fever, chills, cough, shortness of breath, difficulty breathing, fatigue, muscle or body aches, headaches, new loss of taste or smell, and sore throat. I do have a link to all of those in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Do you pay too much for insurance? Have you looked around? Or are you too chicken? Don't be afraid to look around to see if you can find a better deal at insurancechicken.com. We make it super simple for you to see rates from several different companies, to see what they have to offer, all in one place. Heck out great insurance deals at insurancechicken.com. Is it time for you to cross the road? See if we can save you money each month at insurancechicken.com. That's insurancechicken.com.
com. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show. Excited to visit with Josh Holloway. He's in the third season of Yellowstone that just recently started back up on the Paramount Network. How are you doing, sir? Doing well, doing well. How are you? I am fantastic. Now, you've had a chance to be in a bunch of different programs and movies, and, and now on this program that you're doing on the Paramount Network with Kevin Costner and some other huge names, it's it's been quite successful. What do you think of, of playing the character that you're playing on there? Oh, I think it's fun. Are you joking me? Uh, Yellowstone is my favorite show, was my favorite show on TV even before I joined it. And uh, so I, I got the call and thought, oh, finally, I get to be a cowboy. After 17 years in the business, I get to be a cowboy. And no. <laughs> I have to be, I get the character breakdown. I'm like, you're joking me. Taylor knows me. We've ridden horses together. What is he doing? And he was laughing. He thought it was great fun to make me uh, uh, a Wall Street guy instead of a cowboy. So I really love the character, though. He's fantastic. He is uh, he is progress incarnate, you know. He's like a velvet steamroller that is going to squash you like a bug with a smile, slowly. <laughs> And how different is it to be on the set, you know, like you were talking about, uh, you you were thinking you were going to get to be the cowboy, but you don't get to do that, but you still, to be on that set and to be around all of that, you know, just think of the the big open skies, That's that's got to be kind of a fun place to be filming and a really fun thing to be a part of. Oh, it's fantastic. I mean, that is my favorite place to be is in the Rocky Mountains, and so to be on a show that films out there, I remember driving to the studio and the whole time I was thinking, what kind of show could I start up that gets me to film here? I'm already planning on my next show to be filmed out there somehow. But it's just fantastic. It's beautiful. The show really showcases that and shows shows the beauty of this area, as well as all the issues that are here. There are many issues um, uh, out, out here that are going on right now, and they're addressing all of them fantastic so that's been fun now a lot of folks remember you from a tv program that's called lost and that was a huge huge success as well and your character in lost completely different than the character in in the program you're in now yellowstone but uh which character would you say you enjoyed playing more oh man it's hard to it's hard to say i love each character because they they bring on a life once you bring them to life then they're alive and you're discovering new things about them. I prefer right now Sawyer because I know him more. I explored him for six years, you know, so I got to go everywhere in there. So Rourke is kind of still new to me, but I loved it. The difference is Sawyer is and that wasn't actually a good guy inside, but all his bad traits you were very visible on the outside, but on the inside he's he's a good guy. Rourke, visibly he seems like a wonderful, successful, nice, polite guy but on the inside he's a bit dark so there's the opposites there now in addition to uh, the the television programs you've done you've also had a chance to be on the big screen for things like mission impossible ghost protocol and uh, there's other projects that you've been a part of do you prefer doing the movies where you get to do a project and it's kind of one and done or do you like doing the series like with lost that was several years and i got a feeling you'll be on several years with yellowstone as well well it's interesting they're both so different I I like to explore a character, uh, so I like TV for that, and I like to go to work and work. And TV barely gives you a chance to change clothes before they're throwing you on set. So I like the pace of TV and the exploration of a character, but movie, I love a beginning, middle, end. You can more plan the arc of your character. It's a different thing. It's different choices and, and a different medium completely. So I like them both. Movies uh, really allowed me to meet some of my legends and heroes that I've been watching for so many years, um, like Tom Cruise and Arnold and Richard Dreyfuss and Gary Oldman. I worked with all those, and now Kevin Costner. So these are legends to me, you know. It's always very interesting, and it was the same with Yellowstone. When you're working with someone you hold in such high regard, even as a veteran actor, I'm shaking in my boots a little bit, like, oh, boy, don't mess it up. Don't get fired. <laughs> Well, I think you're doing pretty darn well, and you keep up the good work. Thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us about it. Oh, you got it. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Again, Josh Holloway and the third season of Yellowstone just fired up just recently on the Paramount Network. I'll throw a link to all of the information in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. 
Many people have dabbled in the stock market for their very first time ever this year. If you're new to the market, but you don't want to learn things the hard way and the expensive way, I encourage you to subscribe to this free newsletter. You can get the inside track with Wall Street's brightest minds delivered directly to your inbox every day at marketbeatminute.com. Subscribe for free. If you change your mind, just unsubscribe. Sign up for free right now at marketbeatminute.com. That's marketbeatminute.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? The Amazon River dolphin's brain capacity is 40% larger than humans. It's fairly well known that dolphins are pretty clever little critters. Uh, that's thanks in part to what's inside their noggins. Animals, or the Amazon River dolphins, wonderfully pink creatures, are also known as boto or botu. They have brain capacities 40% larger than that of humans. Bottlenose dolphins, by the way, have larger brain capacities, too. 1,600 grams versus 1,300 grams, according to the American Association of Advancements of Science. So mm. basically what they're saying is, if you ever have a tough question, you don't know the answer to it, ask a dolphin. Ask a dolphin. They can hook you they'll up. They'll say, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that's exactly what they'll say. I don't know how to do it. Can you make a dolphin noise? No. <laughs> did you ever watch Flipper as a kid? No. You didn't? No. Nope. Oh, I did. It was in reruns, of course, but I used to watch it, and I laughed because I just thought it was the funniest thing ever. Just, I mean, I've come across it, but I didn't sit down no. and watch like whole episodes. I thought it was no. good. Well, this has been today's fun fact. Some credit cards have really high rates or big annual fees. Usually, people sign up for these when it's all they qualify for. If that sounds like you, it may be time to get a better credit card. Over time, your situation changes, and you may qualify for a better credit card. Your current card hopes you don't think about it, but our site shows you many options to see if there's a better credit card for you. Check it out for free at bettercreditcards.com. That's bettercreditcards.com. Now, a news headline from somewhere in this world, Dateline India. This is a sad story. Um, an India man died of coronavirus after his family unplugged his ventilator to plug in an air conditioner at the hospital. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. So they're there. He's on a ventilator, and they're going, okay, it's getting hot in here. And somebody said, well, here, I'll roll an air conditioner in. They plug oh, it in. Oh, my goodness. Didn't realize they unplugged his ventilator, and then the guy died. So wh- how awful would you feel if you are the one that... Mentioned how warm it was. <laughs> but like, uh, maybe I shouldn't have said anything. That's just a, what a weird story. It's today's news headline from somewhere in this world. We're here to make it better. If you find that drug or alcohol problems are hitting you too close to home, you can get help. Maybe it's time for rehab. Your insurance may even cover everything. Learn more at timeforrehab.com. Get help for a drug or alcohol problem within 24 hours. We're here to make it better. Get more information at timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Now some weird news brought to you by weirdgiftoftheday.com. This story was sent to me by a few people, Heidi. I think this is actually kind of funny that that several people sent this thinking of us. So thank you for thinking of us. And the one said, this has to be your weird news. And you're right. It is. Today's weird news brought to you by weirdgiftoftheday.com. A pizza joint in West Palm Beach, Florida was temporarily closed. Temporarily. <laughs> I can't talk. They were closed for a while uh, because health inspectors found an 80-pound lizard in their freezer. The dead reptile had been gifted to the owner of Pizza Mambo. And he said, I was storing it there as a future snack. It was in a separate freezer away from the restaurant's food, according to employees. The pizza shop had had to throw the creature away when they were notified about the violation. In addition to the iguana problem, Pizza Joint was hit with 26 other violations, including Ooh. rodent droppings and dead roaches. Oh, yeah. The restaurant, whose license expired December 1st, was also found to have food with a mold-like growth on it. Oh, so, not good. Gross. Yeah, but I had several people say I should use that for my uh, fake news or Florida because it was West Palm Beach, Florida. But it had to be used as weird news because... That's just weird. That's disgusting. Yeah. It's today's weird news. John and Heidi. Time now for your moment of duh. Brought to you by insurancechicken.com. Florida man behind bars after the sheriff's office in Flagler, Florida, said he stole an ambulance that was idling outside of a hospital and led law enforcement on a multi-county chase. 2.30 a.m., is uh, when this all took place. He went quite a ways with it. Yes. Uh, in reference to a stolen vehicle, 
at Advent Health, an EMT at the hospital, told police that she and her crew were inside the hospital working on a patient when a man entered the ambulance that was sitting empty outside. She said the front doors of the ambulance were locked, but the back doors were left unlocked as they wheeled the patient into the hospital. I suppose. And that's when they were able to catch up to the ambulance. It was stolen by a man by the name of Keith Peacock. He was eventually secured into handcuffs, taken to Flagler County Jail, where he is facing charges of grand theft of a motor vehicle. Mm. So you seriously thought you were going to just blend in with a stolen ambulance? Right. Where are you going to go with that? I mean, that's not that smart. Just saying. It's today's moment of duh. Do you pay too much for insurance? Have you looked around? Or are you too chicken? Don't be afraid to look around to see if you can find a better deal at insurancechicken.com. We make it super simple for you to see rates from several different companies, to see what they have to offer, all in one place. Heck out great insurance deals at insurancechicken.com. Is it time for you to cross the road? See if we can save you money each month at insurancechicken.com. That's insurancechicken.com. Time now for fake news or Florida. Heidi, tell me, is this a true story from the great state of Florida, or is it fake news made up to trick you and amuse me? Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. Fake news or Florida? Police arrest Big Coppet Key Man for DUI after he chugged a can of beer during a police stop. Fake news or Florida? Florida. True story. How did you know that? Well, because I would do that. Would I was you really arrested anyway? And I, I mean, I, it was there. I wasn't going to let it go to well, waste. If I'm going to jail anyway, I might yeah, as well if you're finish going to this. Jail anyway? They've already got you stopped. I'd finish it. <laughs> so I think you should first qualify that with you wouldn't drink and drive. Well, no, never. Because you wouldn't. I know you wouldn't. She lost a couple of cousins to a, a drunk driver, so that's a big deal in our household. Don't I drink did. and drive ever, 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 ever. Uh, but yeah, that uh, I can see where he's going. He's like, oh, I got nothing to lose. Yeah, I'm already, I mean, I'm getting arrested anyway, so I'm already in trouble. It's not like it. you're gonna, you know, attack an extra day or two on for that. Right? I don't think so. But this is true story. It is uh, today's fake news or Florida. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news. I think this is good news. Comes your way courtesy of bettercreditcards.com. A local garbage man brought to tears by a neighborhood surprise party. This is just cool. Residents of North Bay Road, Miami Beach, gathered early Friday morning with signs and gifts as they waited for Saul Scruggs and Keon Richardson to arrive. They, by the way, are the people who bring uh, the, that pick up the trash in the area. They've never missed a day of work picking up trash in the Miami Beach area where they were just showing up for their regular collection route, but they weren't. The neighbors held a celebration of gratitude for the essential workers during the corona pandemic. Aww. And they had the Miami Beach mayor, Dan Gelber, there to celebrate with these two as well. Says, we are here to celebrate our two sanitation workers who just really make our day brighter with every day when we see them, according to one of the residents. They do so much more than pick up our trash. What is particularly special about these two men is the positive energy they bring with them. Uh, They always have smiles, and you know them, and you love them. It says, if you know them, you love them. Oh. Oh, that is so great. Scruggs had to fight back tears as he thanked everyone. Says, everything he taught me, I just want to be like him, Richardson said about his colleague. And that's really cool. I think that's really neat. And when you think about this, you know, every single person, whatever their job, mm-hmm. you can do something to make a difference in the lives of other people like these guys. I mean. And to just make, honestly, their whole year. That yeah. made their year. Yeah. You know they're going to think about that every single time they drive down that street now yep. for the rest of their lives. And it, it was just awesome. I think maybe we should do something like that. Just throw a little party. And then the next time we have our recycling wrong, they'll just <laughs> like, oh, well, they threw a party for us. So <laughs> it's all good. All right. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show.